This is Shuttle Launch Control. Joining us now in Fire Room 4 at our Public Affairs Console is our Space Shuttle Launch Director, Mike Leinbach. And uh, Mike, I think uh, we're looking at you to kind of explain how this problem has evolved, what it is that you uh, are seeing, and maybe give us some idea of what the goal forward plan is and how much time are we going to need to turn around. Okay, I'll be glad to do that. And uh, can you hear me okay? I, I wasn't hearing you all that well, but uh, well, let's see. The, the issue is with one of our auxiliary power units, which uh, provides the power to the hydraulic system for the orbiter. And the exact problem was was some thermost was a thermostat on one of the fuel lines for that for that auxiliary power unit, and we need to keep those lines warm to to prevent them from freezing on orbit. So we have two thermostats, two heaters for each fuel line, uh, for each APU. And on auxiliary power unit number one, one of those two uh, heater units failed, and the troubleshooting we did on it uh, proved that it, it was a hard failure. We were not able to get it to uh, to come to life, no matter what we did. We tried to let the uh, the uh, the line cool down just by normal means, and to see if the, uh, the the thermostat on that heater would would kick in. That did not happen. We tried to command the the heater from the cockpit of the orbiter. That did not happen either. So we know we have a hard failure in that uh, that heater string for that one auxiliary power unit. Uh, there was another uh, uh, heater upstream of that that is also exhibiting some, some funny behavior. So what we believe we have now is, is, a, is a problem in one of our LCAs, a load control assembly. It's essentially a switch box that says uh, we probably have a, a failure, a short, actually in that box or in one of the electrical lines to that box or from that box. We're not quite sure yet. We won't know until we get into the after the orbiter and do some detailed troubleshooting. But the issue is, is that we didn't want to commit to flight with only one of two uh, heaters, heaters on those uh, auxiliary power unit fuel line because of the chance that if you lost that one good one on orbit, then you, you run the very high risk of freezing the fuel in that line, and therefore the auxiliary power unit would not function, and therefore you wouldn't have full hydraulic power, which is, uh, which is a case you never want to get into uh, for reentry without uh, uh, hydraulic power coming from one of the three auxiliary power units. So the course of action today is, is to scrub. We're in the process of draining the external tank, tank right now. That will take another hour or so. We'll set up to uh, gain entry into the aft compartment of the orbiter overnight tonight, and probably tomorrow afternoon we'll get into the aft, uh, start putting in our platform set to get to this load control assembly, which is down inside the aft quite a ways, and so it's going to take us a bit of time to, to get in and do that. And then once we're in the, uh, the avionics bay where that, where that uh, LCA exists, we'll be able to do our troubleshooting and, and see if we need to change out that box or whether we find a, a short in the line, that type of thing. So right now, it, it, uh, it obviously a scrub turnaround scenario of, of a minimum of 72 hours right now. We've declared a minimum of 72. And I'm going to have a scrub turnaround meeting with my launch team at 2.30 today we'll, where we will refine that plan based on engineering's input. Uh, to see what sort of what level of, of troubleshooting they want to do to see if it extends that 72 hours even even longer than that. So unfortunate for the uh, discovery team and Mark Kelly and his, and his crew, but uh, today the orbiter is not ready to fly. And as we always say in this business, we will fly. Uh, we will not fly before we're ready. And so that's the case we're in today. So right now we're no less than 72 hours, but till you get through the troubleshooting the aft, you really can't tell how much more time we would need. That's exactly right. We're at absolute minimum three-day scrub turnaround now. And, uh, again, we'll, we'll get the detailed troubleshooting plan at 2.30, factor that into our operational plan, and then uh, be able to, to tell you guys uh, you know, where we think the next launch attempt may well be. All right. Well, we will uh, then uh, look forward to uh, having you and Mike Moses come over after the uh, – Meeting is over at 2.30 and uh, maybe kind of lay out where we're going based on the uh, discussion with the launch team. But uh, at any rate, we are no earlier than 72-hour postponement. And right. all of that is still a developing story based on what we find in the aft. That's it, George. And, you know, that's the nature of our business. We, uh, we'll fly no orbiter before it's time, uh, and today she just wasn't ready to go. Oh. All right, Mike. Well, thank you very much. And I will conclude our launch commentary at this time. Our next event will be a scrub turnaround press conference with 
by Kleinbach and Mike Moses, which is targeted for 4 o'clock or as soon as they uh, have completed that meeting and have some additional meaning, meaningful information that they convey to us. This is Shuttle Launch Control.